We're so fresh and so clean. Got a shower, got a bun, got a fresh new top. Yes. <laughs> planning on opening the video that way but that's fine the friends we get asked all the time I'm eating in a calorie deficit to lose weight but I'm hungry is this normal and the answer is yes you are essentially eating less than you're used to so you are gonna be a bit hungry and sassy boy behind the camera and I have lost 130 pounds each and kept it off for six years one of the tricks that we learned during our weight loss journey is if you choose low calorie, high volume foods most of the time, it's really helpful. So a low calorie, high volume food basically is a food that's low in calories, but that you can eat a lot of and it'll fill you up. So when we chose those most of the time, we were able to stay full, which kept us on track because we weren't hungry and then wanting to sort of overeat because we were hungry. So I'm going to share with you in this video 10 of my favorite foods that are low calorie that I eat to control my hunger when I'm dieting and feel super full. So the first one is oats. Oats are really good because they're super versatile. If you get the quick oats, they're actually really quick to make. Half a cup is 150 calories. And half a cup, when you cook it in water, it actually doubles in size. So you're getting a lot of food for little calories. And oats are also slow digesting because they contain a lot of fiber. So they can fill you up for hours. And when, whenever Kyle and I pair these with like berries or Greek yogurt or put protein powder in them, they make you even more full because you're adding more fiber and more protein. You want to flavor your own too because <laughs> yes, we know the little packets that are pre made are really yeah. good they're very tasty but they add a lot of calories and you get a lot less oatmeal yeah and they add a lot more sugar and stuff too so when you add your own like zero calorie sweetener or flavored extract like vanilla or even a low calorie protein powder it'll flavor it without adding all that extra carbs and sugar and stuff that you might not want to add the next one and we have had oats are the entire journey Berries is the next one. Berries are low calorie. So for a whole cup of strawberries, it's 50 calories for a whole cup. And for three quarters of a cup of the blueberries, it's 80 calories. So you can really eat a lot of these. And again, they're really versatile. You can put them in anything or you can just eat them. You can get them fresh, frozen. They're full of fiber, so they're gonna be slow digesting as well. They're gonna keep you full for a long time. We eat berries every single day because we can eat so many of them. They keep us full and they satisfy us because they're actually really tasty and you can put them in everything. Next, spinach. For one cup of spinach, it's like 10 calories, <laughs> which is crazy because you can eat cups and cups of spinach and again, spinach is super versatile. You can put it in anything, smoothies, soups, breakfast, like eggs, sandwiches, wraps. It can go in everything. We put it on our low calorie pizza. It will fill you up. It also has pretty decent fiber and protein for being a vegetable. We buy the baby spinach too, that's already washed and prepped. So it's even quick. You don't have to do anything for meal prep. We add spinach in everything. I put a ton in my wraps. We put lots on our pizza. It really fills you up and you can make it taste like anything if you add to it. So that's a really good one to have always on hand. The next one is plain fat-free Greek yogurt. Three quarters of a cup is 100 calories and it's full of protein. And that's why we choose the Greek yogurt. When you add protein, especially a lean one, with a low calorie food, that really keeps you full. And again, 
versatile. We like foods that, because we eat very similar foods, we like foods we can add to and change the flavor of. So you feel like you're eating new food all the time. This one, you can add anything to it. Powdered peanut butter, sugar-free jam, berries. You can even add oats to it. Whatever you want, you can flavor it yourself. And we do choose the plain because if you get the flavored, it does have extra sugar and carbs. So we flavored ourselves with everything. Zero calorie sweetener, unsweetened cocoa powder, vanilla extract. Sometimes I do coconut if I wanna be tropical. <laughs> coconut extract. So amazing, fills you up. You can eat a ton of it. I also sometimes add fat-free, sugar-free pudding mix and I make like a fruit dip. And if so you want like the perfect breakfast, well, one of them, Greek yogurt, berries, and quick oats, and I didn't even cook it when I used to eat that every single day. Throw it all in a bowl, throw it in the fridge. You got overnight oats or just eat it right away. And it is really good. Actually, when you mix those three together, it tastes kind of like an oatmeal cookie with berries in it. I also do like a bit of cinnamon and yeah. some uh, sweetener. And the sweetener. And that's sort of, I think, what gave it like the oatmeal cookie sort of flavor. And salt, you must do a pinch of salt. Yes, the Sassy Bear is right. It does bring out the flavor. And that caps us, caps us? That kept us full for hours. We do it every once in a while, but we do change it up. The next one, this is a major staple. We have been eating popcorn from the very beginning of our weight loss journey and we eat it every single day. Popcorn is amazing. If you air pop it or if you get the 94% fat free Smart Pop, whenever it doesn't have anything, it's very low calorie. Eight and a half cups of this popped is only 200 calories. So you get a ton of food for very low calorie. Popcorn is full of fiber and it fills you up. We put a little bit of cooking spray on it and then put some salt or some kernel seasoning and the cooking spray is just to get that stuff to stick. I was watching a uh, Coach Greg video actually the other day and he brought up another reason why popcorn works so well for dieting. Mm -hmm. The length of time it takes you to eat yes. eight cups of popcorn. That's really true because we literally, actually let's show them, this is the bowl. It pretty much, this is the bowl I use. It pretty much fills up this whole bowl when I make the eight and a half cups and it feels like a never ending bowl. Like I keep eating and I'm like, wow, I still have that much left. So you can watch a movie, you can do whatever and you have a big snack that is low in calorie and fills you up for a really long time. And it's super tasty and it helps keep us on track. The next one is cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is like a super food in my book because when you get the low fat one, like this is 1% cottage cheese, it's full of protein, it's slow digesting. So it's gonna keep you full for hours and because it's slow digesting, we eat it right before bed and it keeps, it fuels our muscles all night long. So it keeps us full and keeps our muscles from going away. <laughs> Um, this, this stuff is amazing. It's super versatile. You can blend it if you don't like the texture because we didn't in the beginning. And half a cup is 100 calories. So you can eat a lot of this. And we like to pair it with peanut butter at night and that keeps us even more full because when you pair the fat with the protein, it really slows down digestion and makes you feel full for longer. So get creative guys, like you can imagine. 10 calories for a cup, 50 calories for a cup of strawberries, very low calorie, you know, cottage cheese and high protein Greek yogurt. The massive snacks you're gonna be able to eat for very low calories. It really fills you up and we eat like, what you're seeing here is like the bulk of our day. This is what we fill up on, low calorie, high volume foods. And popcorn is super versatile too. The next one, I really love these. Now if you can't, you know, there are some people that can't find these. We have to order them online because we're in Canada. Just get the closest thing, the lowest calorie wrap you can find. These are about 120 calories, give or take. Some of them are bigger than others. But these are the Joseph's Lavash wraps. What I like about them is they contain a lot of fiber and protein and they're really big. So when I fill them with veggies like spinach and lean protein, this keeps me full for hours. This is my lunch every day. One of these full of veggies and lean turkey. And I, it fuels my whole day until dinner. It really keeps me full. 
Sassy just reminded me of this example. We just did a full day of eating where I showed you I would changed up some of the foods in my diet. So if you can't find a normal wrap, we didn't have one of these that day. What we did have though is a regular six inch plain flour tortilla from any grocery store. And we ate that with a chicken hot dog instead of a bun. So it was like a lower calorie version of a bun and it's only 110 calories. So you can even find any wrap at your grocery store and use that. And just go for one that's lower in calories but does have higher fiber and a bit higher protein because that'll just keep you a bit fuller longer. Yeah, wraps are great. Wraps are amazing. Not Nicole's wrapping, but these oh. kind of wraps are great. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I warned you guys. All right, the next two are stand-ins because we don't actually have them at the moment. Beans. So half a cup of beans, depending on the kind you get, we like to get the lowest fat in tomato sauce. I'm gonna CGI this. In. <laughs> Beautiful CGI can of beans is gonna go right here. Don't worry <laughs> about it, we'll fix it in editing. <laughs> don't you like my beans on the uh, paper? Come uh, on now. <laughs> Pretty good beans. <laughs> um, so anyway, half a, half a cup is about 130 to 140 calories, depending on what you get. A half a cup is full of fiber, and beans are pretty low in fat, especially if you get them like in the tomato sauce. And you get the canned ones, they're super easy to cook. What I love about that is if I eat a cup of beans, I am full for hours full of fiber, full of protein, low in fat, keeps you full and satisfied for hours. And I love pairing it with like a chicken hot dog or uh, a lean protein of sort, and it really keeps me full. Next stand-in, this is like, I guess I didn't add any pizzazz to this. Maybe I should have like put some vegetables in That is the <laughs> saddest can of soup I've ever seen in my life. This definitely needs some CGI action over top of it. Now that I see it, I'm like really sad. Sorry guys, I should have added some fanciness to it. Hey, Nicole, <laughs> do better, okay? Okay. That okay. is sad. Well, I thought about putting Colette bowls on it instead of Campbell's soup, but then I- They'll get the point. Soup in general is what you want to get across here. Yeah, soup in general. So. Um, it's about 150 calories or less for one cup if you find a low calorie canned soup. Soup is amazing because it's full of liquid. The liquid will keep you full. Just like I'm throwing in a bonus here, if you drink water with your meals, that also fills up your belly and keeps you full way longer because of the liquid. Um, if you get a low calorie soup that has protein, lean protein and veggies in it, you're gonna be full even longer because of the protein and the fiber. Um, so soup is amazing. And we actually ate multiple kinds of soup throughout our weight loss journey. We used to make like low calorie broccoli cheddar, pea soup, vegetable soup, chicken soup, like we made all kinds because it really does keep you full. And when you make a big batch of soup, you have soup for days. It's great. So you start with a big bowl of liquid, then you're adding stuff like spinach and vegetable, other vegetables. Lean you protein. You can imagine how full your belly's gonna feel. Exactly. And then we always used to throw in some noodles in there too for a nice balance. Tasty, look forward to it, and keeps you on track because it keeps you full. And the last one, Watermelon. I absolutely love watermelon. That's a pretty good picture you did of watermelon. <laughs> oh wait, that's it, a real thing. Wait. It's almost realistic, isn't it? Watermelon is amazing. It is full of water. Um, and melon. And me <laughs> One, I just gotta check, check my cheat notes here. One cup is like 50 calories one cup of this and it really keeps you full. And I used to stay away from watermelon because I had this thing in my head that fruit was not good when you're trying to diet. Actually, it's amazing. Fruit's amazing. Because it really keeps you full and it's super low in calorie. So for 100 calories, you can eat two cups of watermelon. You will be full for hours and hours. And watermelon is amazing. Nobody's so overeating on spinach, watermelon, strawberries. Nobody is. And the thing is like 
All of these foods are super tasty. And if they're plain like the cottage cheese or the yogurt, you can spice them up with a bunch of different low calorie things to make them taste good. So the friends, that is our trick. That is how we lost the weight and how we keep it off and how we've kept it off for six years because we find tasty, low calorie foods that we can eat a lot of that keep us full. So we stay on track because we don't want to overeat because we're full all the time with all these lovely foods. And if you want to know exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we got the links down in the description below. Exact meal plans, exact portions, family friendly recipes, it's all there. Check it out if you like. And we got these two videos that you gotta watch so you can see more of this. Yeah. And my amazing drawings. And now you wanna know about Lawn Morin? Yes, you do. Let's lawn more out the video. One, two, three, kick start it. And you know about shaking a beam. If you're new, this is beam PG for YouTube. We call it a beam. Shake your beam and shake your beam and shake your beam. Shake it, bean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Love you guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> hey, Nicole. Yeah. Do better. <laughs> Noted. <Do> better. <laughs> You're better than this. I know. That is a sad can of soup. I gotta <laughs> fix that. <laughs> See you guys. Bye, guys. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bye through it. <laughs>